Previously on Who Done It, 13 everyday people checked into Rue Manor to play a diabolical game of life and death. The twist, the killer is among them. Well, the task at hand is staying alive because somebody here is a murderer. One by one, the guests will be knocked off until the final showdown, where someone will walk off with a quarter of a million dollars and be the last person standing to unmask who done it. And last time... <laughs> Dante is dead. Discover how the killer committed murder. My only hope is just to solve this riddle or I'm screwed. That metal doorknob igniting a spark. Last piece of the puzzle. We're forming a partnership. Yeah, give us a second. Sayonara. I will kill him if he doesn't tell me. No! <gasps> I'm terrible. It's my time, it's my time. Ladies and gentlemen, there has been an explosion on the estate. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Where are we missing? Yeah. Uh, Sasha? You know, you're here. Gino? Where's Dana? Anybody see Dana or Ed, Your Honor? Her room is by our room. I didn't see her. Oh, my God. Our group is getting so small. Oh, oh my God. Oh, another girl. Dana. <laughs> <laughs> so happy to see you. Wow. Did you see Adriana coming down? I was dying. You know what that means, though? May I have your attention, please? Adriana has been killed. The Rue Manor is now officially on lockdown. If you could all please return to your rooms. Oh, my God! Lock the doors. Now! Ladies and gentlemen, the lockdown has been lifted. I see that you've all changed. Every time somebody else dies at Rue Manor, I get that much closer to $250,000. I hate to say it, but I get a little happy inside. I do hope you slept well, though I highly suspect otherwise. I'm extremely excited that I wasn't murdered. I, I couldn't sleep. I thought Adriana was the killer. So clearly, she's not because she's dead. So, once again, you will each investigate one of the following three areas. The scene of the crime, which in this case is the back driveway of the Rue Manor. The victim's last known whereabouts. And finally, given its deplorable condition, I am afraid it is impossible to bring the body to the morgue. And so those who choose this option will have to bring the morgue to the body. Remember the things that have been important every time is how the killer got in, how he got out. Don't count on the people at each zone to give you all the information. Cam is definitely being a bossy boots. Let them all kill themselves off while we just hang out. I'm going to have to see how it pans out. I'm already suspicious of everyone. There's no way that there's going to be four of us or this four of us till the end. Wow, is it too early to have a drink? I know. What do you want to see? The building scene too? No, well, the morgue. I'm going down there. Okay, perfect. That's three there. Two, two, and two. You want to stay here with us? Or are you just going to bounce around? No, I have a little problem over there. Because it's a big problem. Yeah, here. it is. Where are you going to go? I'm going to go to the morgue. Okay. My general game plan is to try and get rid of the strongest players as quickly as possible and keep the weaker players around so I have more control over them. When Ulysses, Cam, Chris, and Lindsay put themselves at such a distance from the rest of us, my enemy's enemy is my ally. These people around me hate the four people across the room. So do you think Adriana's like in pieces? Ladies and gentlemen, 
Who would like to take some fresh air and follow Sophie to the makeshift morgue? I would. Dom, Ulysses, and Melina. Very good. Next, the victim's last known whereabouts, the breakfast room. Dana, Sasha, Chris, Lindsay, so Beatrice. Eyes open, mouth closed. The rest of you will proceed to the crime scene and begin to reassemble what occurred. Whoa. Be careful, some stuff's gonna be hot. As soon as we walk up there, we realize, wow, this is gonna be a huge, huge job. The crater's there, so... Well, it's definitely a golf cart. Right. There's just debris everywhere, and there's really no indication of what might be a clue and what might just be fragments of the uh, golf cart. This looks like it's broken off. There's no scorching. She's coming down toward the gate, and the tree limb is in her way so that she has to drive here. Okay. okay. The branch is purposely placed there. The killer wants the golf cart in a specific spot at a specific time. Cam, let's put the seat back. Oh, wait a minute. Let's take a look at what's under it. I mean, it doesn't oh, look like... Look at that. This part is cut out. A sliver of the plastic lining under the seat has been removed. It's not a blast. That's a cut. Right. That's definitely a cut. And it makes sort of a hinge. I think the killer just cut the plastic to move the seat over and install the bomb. OK. So the bomb's here. Yeah. So now we have delivery method is possibly pre-placement. I begin a 360 search of the crime scene, and I see a pole with what appears to be a video camera. I want to get to it first, and I want to see what it is. I think it's possible that, that the bomb was actually on the golf cart and it was just a trigger that was off the path. I'm not gonna climb this pole. I'm not gonna do anything silly like that. I'm just gonna tear the pole down. Whoa, what have we here? Video camera. Took some damage from the explosion. Here's some other pieces. I'm assuming from that. Some glass, more wire. So the killer sets this up to watch. Maybe it wasn't an automatic trigger. Maybe he marked the position where she wanted her to be. Hey, but what is this? It's red glass. I mean, there really isn't any missing glass here, though. It is a good question. Yeah. There's cereal here. Well, I see that there's a bowl of cereal on the ground, and there doesn't really seem to be anything else out of place. Being cereal, watching TV, what came on that made her Scared. She dropped her cereal. She's scared. And then she ran that way. Oh, look, guys. <gasps> Drive off the property if you want to live. live. The TV kind of flickers. As it's flickering, there's this really creepy surveillance footage. There's another flicker, and then this message. Drive away from the property if you want to live. I don't like how she was being filmed, just sitting there. He or she could be watching us at any time. I think that's pretty creepy to know that the killer is sitting back somewhere watching us on a screen. What is that? Are those feet marks? It's right foot. It like someone was trying to kick open the door. She's trying to kick those doors down. So we test the doors themselves, and they are indeed locked. All the doors were locked except, except for... that one. That was like trying to force her out that way. Well, let's, let's go around. We need to investigate the other side of the door to see what's going on. Sit so even if she could kick it open, it wasn't happening. They really wanted the, to take that one exit. If she had gone out the front, she wouldn't have gone where an explosive was planted. <laughs> the killer really wanted to ensure Adriana could not get out through those doors, and she was forced to exit into the back driveway. <gasps> oh, my god. Oh, there she is. It's amazing how high up she blew up, too. So it's a good-sized charge that sent her there. Oh, Adriana, I'm so sorry. So I can't have that so close to my face. That's so gross. There's blood and there's burnt skin. It was really gross. But right away, I noticed that she's holding something in her hand. Here, Don, use this to get in there. It's a mirror. Better. What's it look like, Don? Some kind of a remote control. 
pressing that button on the remote possibly is what sets the bomb off. I think this is a pretty big piece of evidence. Your hands aren't burned on the inside, though. Can you take a look on that, on that palm? It's not burned, it's just black, black. She's not burned very much on her hands nor on her face. And everything's torn from the bottom going up. There are severe burns on both of her legs. How the bottom of her feet look black like the rest of the... Yeah, she's charred. Most likely the bomb was at her feet or somewhere below her calf. Obviously, the burns are going to be more severe wherever the bomb first went off. Yeah, but look, these. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. It becomes obvious the game has changed. Don and Melina are whispering to each other. I'm in the group that everyone else is trying to keep up with, and they're not sharing anything. I'm not sharing anything with them. I'm just gathering it and bringing it back to my team. I feel like I, I'm not finding anything significant. Obviously, she blew up. Somehow, it landed in the tree. The remote, maybe it set something off. I'm not sure. There's a lot of clues there. Uh, definitely, that plume of smoke came from here. Mm-hmm. And we have a branch that's down. I've seen enough. I've seen more than enough to traumatize me for months. <laughs>
this is a game. Information is gold. If you don't have it, then you're in trouble. And I'm gonna be where I'm gonna get the information right now. I just don't trust them. Like, no. it's better to be close because you can always verify things. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm on the fence with Lindsay, but I really think that she's gonna be useful to me later. I'm gonna wait to the very last second. I'm gonna tell her all the information very quickly so that she cannot tell the other three. That strategy was the best strategy ever. The strategy worked she, well. And then Lindsay, I blatantly said that you no longer trust her because she's been hanging out with those people. Now keep reminding them that Ulysses and Cam had packs yep. with Dante and with Adriana. And they're, and they're both, both dead. dead. So as of right now, we have no more information than we did when we started. That's but the good news is, neither do they. Did you know yeah, so it comes down to this riddle. I heard those footsteps before. <laughs> you can't be serious. Oh, my dear guest, the killer has left an important message for you. Oh my god. <laughs> My dear guest, the killer has left an important message for you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, when the fuse goes down, I'm just like, whew. It was uh, too close for my liking. We've already had one death today. You covered your ears. You closed your eyes. What you thought was a bomb was death in disguise. Reach inside and have a ball. Get a clue, mortals. But that's not all. I reach down and I grab this golf ball and it says 13 steps on it. I have no idea what that means. My first instinct is to follow Ronnie, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh man, I didn't even notice these. There's no tape. After Giles reads us this riddle, we all notice these black and white monitors all over the house. Are the 13 steps, the 13 steps that take me downstairs to those video monitors? None of them have a tape. Well, I want a good shot. What about the one upstairs, does it have a tape? On the golf ball is written 13 steps. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm thinking steps in a staircase. I'm really not sure how golf ties in, but the killer doesn't do anything by mistake, so that's going to be important somehow. I don't know what 13 steps are. But I'm going to follow our plan from our team, and I'm going to stay with Cam or whomever is on that team. I see 13 steps, and my mind goes back to earlier in the day when I was in the breakfast nook. The killer made sure Adriana had to go out the door that leads out near the pool. And I remember seeing steps back there. One, two, three, four, five. What's going on? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh. A click of a button did kill, kill our guest. guest. Yes, I still have, have one, one request. request. Look for civilian caves in an outside bin. bin. Don't, don't get, get plagued by, by the clue, clue within. Outside As a trash can bin? Yeah. Trash bin? Yeah. A click of a button did kill our guest, so I know that's it. The clicker had to be the detonator. Outside bin, outside bin. What do you think? Do you those monitors? I'm not gonna do this scurry, run all over the place and kill myself and trip people and try to shut people out of doors. I'm not doing that. Way too elegant for that. I'm thinking I'm gonna stay in the foyer where all those closed circuit televisions are and kind of guard those. Could be the front yard too, you know. Yeah. We're running around the yard, looking in flower pots, trash cans, any bin that we can find. And in the front of the house, we see this big trash can. And inside are videotapes. Up on the screen comes try again. I think I gotta go get another tape. There must be only one tape that has any of the evidence on it. It's not yet. Try again. Go grab another, quick. I 
I just start rummaging through all these tapes. I'm looking on the outside of the tapes, trying to find one with a room or crest or something to show me that that's the right tape. It said, but don't get played by the clue within. You guys keep on your ears. said, try again. In midair, I realize the clue is in the tape. Come on. It's hot because heat rises. It's empty because of small sizes. Find where I hide T he he. -he. It's all black and white. And click and see. Start again? Wait, wait, wait. Open up the tapes. Open up the tapes. I see Ronnie opening his tape. All and inside is a message. It's hot because heat rises. It's empty because of small sizes. They don't know it's this. Where's your, where's your small chimney in the house? I'm thinking about heat rising. My first thought is that maybe there's a chimney somewhere in the house that's very small and that there'll be something hidden inside. Where's your really small chimney in this house? In her bedroom, there was a fireplace. A balloon. A balloon. I'm picking up keywords. Hot air. Balloons. Hot air balloons. I gotta find a hot air balloon. There's balloons in my room. Is there? On the wall, on the paintings. Is there a TV there? No, no TV. There's balloons. Come on, where is it? My room, Bob. To the top, to the right, to the right. It's hot because the heat rises. It's empty because it's small size. Yo, it's the attic. Hot air rises up. Small spaces. Attic. Holy crap. I get to the top of the stairs, not even an inch behind Ronnie, and I hear the bell. First, I'm thinking, thank God it wasn't Lindsay. And second, I'm thinking, oh, why wasn't it me? You got in there so fast. You were so close. You were so close. Now I know. I'm in the attic, I press this button, Adriana gets whacked. I'm the only one that knows. How am I gonna use this information? Okay, listen to me very carefully. Can I ask you one thing real quick? How did you get to the gate clicker and the and the videotapes? How did you get to that? We can talk about that later. I'll explain all of that we'll to you. I'll explain that later. Oh, Ronnie, come on, sit over here with me. I need to talk to Gina and put all these pieces together. <clears throat> the guests that I've been working with are going to be, is he just going to run off with Gino and isolate everyone? But Ron's not going to do that. Here's the driveway. Yep, true right. branch. Yeah. Here. OK, so now. OK, so here's the car. It turns around. Right there, there's the car. Right there, that's the driveway. Okay, so that clue wasn't 100% clear. Dang it. Ronnie was the only one that went through that door. He's the only one who has this huge clue. I'm a little worried that he may change his mind. Come on, Ronnie. It's a little stressful to not know what Ronnie's gonna do with that information. It's like charades. <laughs> do we think that if we went down and we pleaded our case to Ronnie, he would give us what he saw in the attic? He wouldn't give it to me, no. that's for sure. Any of them? Do you think Lindsay Nobody will else. be able to get it? I don't know. She was close. She was, honestly, she was acting a little bit weird. I was already thinking that Lindsay was kind of wavering. Yeah, I don't know. Let's find Lindsay. Yeah. Honestly, I would rather have you around than Cam or Ulysses or Chris. That's what I right, like but then either. again, if I turn on, then I'm gonna have a problem. Yeah, I know. I need to convince them that whatever we tell you is not gonna get back to them. Where do you want me to be? Just float around here. I'll come and get you. That the killer used to detonate Adriana. The problem is, is like, you know, I mean, we made a pact, but I mean. I agree with you, Ronnie. If you think, if you can get her to stay with us the entire time, I know what we somebody can do with her. her, to her room. We will. We will wait, and I will escort her to her room, and I will put her away. Ronnie decides that he's going to share the information that he has with Lindsay. Other people have a problem with it. I'm fine with it. Fine. It's I don't really care. Right he shared the information with me. I'm copacetic. I just Look don't trust her. What? Look at them. Lindsay, can you take Chris away, please, so we can talk about this? Just like you guys sent us away, can you please t send her away? Give us a minute. 
<laughs> Give us a minute. Go over here. I don't know. You have what you need? Melina, you're allowed to talk to me. If you would say, Chris, will you walk away? I'll be like, okay, Melina. Okay, Chris, can you walk away? Yeah. Thank you. I'm a human. You may speak with me, not through Lindsay. Wow, did not know you were a human. All right. What me and um, Gina have come to the conclusion is, is that we don't know if the actual bomb was on the cart itself or in the ground. I think Ronnie knows more than what he's revealing. So you think she pushes the button, thinking that she's opening the... I think she gets into the golf cart way down there. As soon as she gets in, she grabs a clicker, she presses it. It does nothing, so she thinks, oh, well, maybe it's the front driveway. But what she did when she did the clicker is that she turned on the camera. Now the killer's watching her, and as she drives up, he sets off the bomb. Cam does make sense with the other facts that I've heard, so we just have to figure it out on our own. You Ronnie's, think Ronnie's telling, telling everybody her? but us. Oh, all of them. I'm not even allowed to stand there, and I was, like, right next to him. She was allowed before. to be at a distance, whereas I wasn't allowed to be at a distance. I don't know. I seriously don't know anything. We know he was up in the attic. Did you hear saw, anything? No, I tried. I, I, like, there was nothing. I am wary of Lindsay even more so than I was before. She keeps trying to go and talk to the other group. Why is she so confident she can get something from the other group? You're either with us or you're with them. There's no back and forth. You need to make a decision. Seriously. Make a decision. And make a smart decision. Ronnie. I need to talk to you. She needs to make a choice. You can't have it both ways. If you want to hang with us, then you need to stop hanging with them. I didn't alienate them. They alienated themselves. It's that simple. Make a decision. <sighs> Come on, let's go around the back. Tell me, please tell me. What? The killer pressed the remote control, television remote control, because he watched her. He yeah, watched I knew that. her on yeah. the television uh -huh. go down the hill, and yeah. as soon as she reached the spot, he blew her up with the remote control. That is it. Okay. There's nothing else you need to know. Come on, where are you going? Oh. I'm pretty sure I've got everything, and I feel strong enough that I should be spared. I'm still a little bit afraid that I don't have the actual placement of the bomb. I'm not as confident, but I feel that I'm going to be around for another day. One of the things I never got to do in my life was bring a serial killer to justice to solve all those murders. You met her in the breakfast nook. You thought of a reason to excuse yourself from the table. Adriana comes down for breakfast, eating her cereal, and then she looks up, and there's a TV that's on. At this point, the dating show Adriana had been watching on the TV clicked over to surveillance footage. Drive off the property if you want to live. There was clearly only one exit that Adriana would be allowed to get out of. So she runs off the property, jumps into the golf cart. Then again, you really got me stumped. Where you detonated the bomb. I don't know. You ran upstairs to your little death central station. Earlier in the day, you had sliced the golf cart seat and put the bomb directly under the driver's side seat. She turns around in the golf cart. You're going to plunge that ignition to blow up a planted bomb in the ground. And poof, flew her ass right out of the car. There was a tree branch blocking her way. She couldn't drive down the concrete driveway. She had to veer into the grass. There's a camera up there on a post, and you're watching from the attic. You detonated your bomb, exploding her into the tree. Gino. You are the killer. I'll be seeing you soon, Cam. I'm leaning towards Cam. Ulysses, I don't need you to take anybody out for me. Chris, I still know you're the killer. I'll tell you what. I saw her die. You did? Oh, because you saw the video. I saw her die. Oh, you my God. You saw the video. Oh, now you tell us. She looked so scared. She I don't was, envy you. She was in the cart, and she's looking around, and she's looking around, and all of a sudden, she's gone. What? It was horrific. And it was just you up there? That's me. You didn't share with me anything you saw in the attic. You were standing right there. When we, we talked about the hypothesis. Do you feel like Ronnie told you what he saw? The only thing that he said was, 
that the remote control was the detonator. You didn't say anything about a video. You didn't say anything about... A desk, about a video, any of that. About... Were you in the same place I was? Yeah, we were all sitting together. You know, he ha could have told you absolutely nothing. You're right, he could have. So what, the, the correct thing you should be saying to him right now is thank you. I've already thanked him, Cam. Okay. Sasha is a brat. Plain and simple. She doesn't understand that she needs to do some actual work if she wants to get through this. And if she's gonna get in my face, I guarantee you that I'm gonna speak back up to her. I'm not one of your clients. I don't have clients. Guys, guys, guys. Hey, folks. Oh my God, he's here already. Cutting right to the chase. I like it. Hola, damas y caballeros. On the light. From the sound of the sizzling fajitas, I can see that we're in a festive mood tonight. Apparently, one of you has blown the killer away with Congratulations, Ronnie. their account mm -hmm. of the true crime. Congratulations, Lindsay. <laughs> oh. Congratulations, Lindsay. What? Oh. You are spared. I should be happy, but I'm anything but happy right now. Like, I would rather just have a regular spared card. Half of them already don't trust me. But I'm not completely sure if this is going to help me. Yes, you, Lindsay, with that annoying, squeaky <gasps> little laugh. I should kill you for that alone. <laughs> but not tonight. Lindsay, I know for a fact that you were playing two sides. You're no longer somebody I can trust. As for the rest of you, I'm afraid you're nothing but a ticking bomb, just waiting to go off. Like the deceased, you were only able to figure out bits and pieces. Killing Adriana was a blast. She stayed in the breakfast room all night watching reality television. But I had to interrupt her program for a special bulletin from me, the killer. Like a child, Adriana dropped her cereal bowl. She ran like a mouse to escape my trap. She even attempted to kick down the doors, which earlier I locked with zip ties, explaining her shoe impression. So she exits the only way she could, my way, outside. Which led her down 13 unlucky steps to the golf cart, where earlier I had planted a bomb and she was hell on wheels. Adriana swerved out of the way of that pesky branch. And when she ended up short of those unpearly gates, she tried to use the golf cart clicker to escape. But only I had the real clicker. As I sat quietly in the attic, watching her every move on a surveillance camera. With a touch of a button, I blew her sky high, where she became a human pachinko machine in the tree. Not cool. Upward and onward, your killer. Oh. I have envelopes specifying who else among you are also to be spared. Sadly, two of or more of you are not. I'm very upset. Ronnie never once said what he saw in the attic. I don't feel good at all. Ulysses. Melina. 
な Thank you. Gina. Chat away. The kid rides again. Dawn. Oh my God. I cannot believe that this is happening again. <laughs> my cop is just thinking like, dumbass. But this game is so much more than just my ability to recreate a crime scene or my ability to investigate a murder. You'll be all right, Don. Never know. Ronnie. There you go. Congratulations. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't but matter. It's, Congratulations. It does matter. You live to fix your errors for next time. Yeah. Sasha. <sighs> the 18. Chris. I'm almost trying to cushion myself for the blow. The other team solved the riddle today. I don't like this. I don't like being this vulnerable. And I'm not sure if I chose the right group. Oh, my Lord. Yes. Wow. Dana. Oh, my God. Torturous. It's interesting to me that Ronnie, kind of the team leader, his two teammates get scared cards at the table. Certainly feels like a setup at this point. Peace. Who's still left? Cam. Oh, man. I'm last. That's not good. All right. Let's see some black ink on this thing, please. <sighs> Boy, that was close, huh, Cam? Sarcasm duly noted. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Should you? Don is upset that I'm spared. But it's not really much of a surprise because of my investigative skills. Well, tomorrow morning, we will serve a formal breakfast. Oh, wow. Formal. I will bid you all adieu and wish you good night. Good night, Giles. Good night, Giles. What do I wear to a formal breakfast? Tops and tails? I, I have absolutely no idea what a formal breakfast is. I'm just sleeping in this. No, don't, don't do that. And in this chair. <laughs> yeah because I don't trust I'm anything in this house. Today is just a wow day. Because I got the scared card the night before and I died 1,000 deaths, I don't think I can possibly be that scared again. Hopefully the murder won't be too gruesome and maybe he'll just do carbon monoxide and I can just go straight to sleep. I've been keeping a journal. I sat down to start catching up on it and I hear something outside. The hair on the back of my neck stands up and it's like every noise I hear, ah, it's coming to get me and I'm thinking, I'm going to stop it before it gets to me. Run over the door, open the door, nothing there. It's got me on edge, which I didn't think it would do. Not a good night to sleep. It's really chilly. Uh, Lindsay, Cam. Dude, that, that's a stone. Did you see that that's a stone? Yeah. Sleep well? Okay. Didn't get woken up by any explosions? Okay. I'm surprised that we even got to breakfast without something happening. I mean, at this point, every time that we wake up, somebody's dead. I'm nervous for Dawn. Oh, my God. Hey! hey. Dang. Oh, my gosh. Oh, she looks different. Glad you could join she us. She looks like a disco ball. Yeah. 
I thought it was formal. Mwah. You glad to see me? Always. Oh. So, well, that can only mean. Don't do that. Why can't we ever just like enjoy a meal? <laughs> ever. Guys. What? Oh. What? <gasps> Shut what? up! This is crazy. Oh, no. I am so confused. I've never more, been more glad to see somebody. You guys all look good. <laughs> so do you. I'm so glad to you see look you. look alive. Oh, Giles. Morning. <gasps> Morning, Giles. I've never been more glad to see you in my life than I right now. see you all have survived the night. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Are you disappointed? No. <laughs> no. Just kidding. Perhaps the killer is getting soft. We have served you today steak and eggs for your morning meal. Enjoy. I'm gonna I'm just. I'm nervous. I know. You do it first. <laughs> it's Holy a big slab of... Oh, it's real. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my God. Rare. Oh. It's yours cooked. Okay, so Ulysses is sharing with me. If you prefer your steak, well done. Please proceed to the kitchen. Yeah. Well, we're done. Bon appetit. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Why does he have to cook it? The adage I live by is you want something done right, you go do it yourself. Next time on Who Done It. I got this. Stop. Ah! I'm gonna pass out. The mountain lion was anesthetized. Uh. Who on earth would be calling me here? <laughs> it's the killer. <gasps> One of us is gonna ride off into the sunset, never to return. I wanted to go out with a bang, and I guess I did. You always wonder how you're gonna die, and I guess this is one way I can actually live to tell about it.